Hello again, YouTube. Sorry for the long break between vids. I recently went to San Diego for TwitchCon, which I know isn't that good of an excuse, but to make it up for you guys, I got a couple cool videos at the San Diego Zoo to show you, so here you go. Yo, this looks like- this reminds me of the flower from Genshin Impact. Yo, you know these birds? They kind of look like fowl from Genshin Impact. Yo, you know this owl of arrow plant? I feel like I should add this plant to Genshin Impact. Bro, you guys see this- you guys see this leopard? Kind of reminds me of the Rishlobin tiger from Genshin Impact. Yo, you guys see this monkey? From the back, it kind of reminds me of a shaggy sumter beast from Genshin Impact. Yo, you guys see this red flower? Kind of reminds me of the dendrobium from Genshin Impact, like Kujosara's mats. Yo, you guys see this tree? Kind of looks like a tree from Genshin Impact. Anyways, I'm back again to talk about my existential crisis I'm having with this game again. Now, if you've seen my other videos, this one might feel a bit familiar, but alas, the time has come where I literally have nothing to do on Genshin except wait for new updates and just sit in my chair like a good little Genshin frog. The problem I have with that is this. I'm tired of here sitting like a good Genshin frog, which gave me the idea to tell you reasons on why you shouldn't play Genshin Impact. Disclaimer. Now, I did make a video about the opposite topic, which was actually my first video. Throwback. But for those people that don't play Genshin and clicked on this video to see whether you should, I'm just gonna say now the pros outweigh the cons so heavily So make sure you don't take whatever I say in this video as reasons you shouldn't and maybe try out the game yourself and see if you like it Number one Genshin is grindy now for the people that play grindy types of games like Final Fantasy or Lost Ark You probably don't mind that much But for the people that have pretty short attention spans like me You might find it tedious and frankly annoying when you have to inevitably grind to level up your characters Granted this only really comes in after a couple weeks or maybe a month of playing But nevertheless farming for artifacts and weapon ascension material kind of is just needed if you want to increase your damage to beat some content in the game. When I say tedious though, I do mean tedious. I remember for this one little guy, I spent three months straight of my short life farming for his artifacts. I mean, since I am a min-maxer with my characters, two of those months probably weren't needed, but geez, three months. Also, even though this was like a year and a half ago, I remember not even getting that many good pieces after three months. It probably took another month or two farming just to get him to the level I have him at now. That's also another thing. Artifact farming is completely RNG. Like, you can technically get four perfect pieces in like three runs of doing an artifact domain, or you can spend multiple months every day to get four other pieces that are just kind of shit. But if I'm gonna be honest, I really am over-exaggerating it. Most of the time, you're not grinding and only takes like 10 minutes per day or, well, game session, but it's still really annoying when you don't get the pieces you want. Which brings me to my next point, resin. Now, I've talked about how much I hate resin in the past in multiple other videos, but I still can't get over it. Resin is stupid. I mean, yeah, from a company standpoint, I guess it does make them some money because it sort of forces you to buy primos and replenish your resin, but as a game mechanic, I think it's really dumb. Now, I can't say for some other games to implement the same system, but if you don't know what resin does, it basically limits the amount of domains or bosses you can farm for your characters. Every day you get 180 resin, which is enough for like 9 artifacts on average or 4 boss fights. Now, I did just say earlier, farming takes around 10 minutes to do, so am I really waiting a whole day just for 10 minutes of farming and serotonin? Well, actually, if you only get shit artifacts, it's sort of like torture, but you get my point. Resin is an annoying system that you have to play around, but like grinding, it only really gets frustrating at the end of the game when you have no more quests to do. Which brings up a good point quests. Now I gotta say that there are some quests in the game that are actually really engaging and have some really cool cutscenes, but it's just those times when you're not in the mood to sit through a long quest and are forced to listen to a couple characters talk to each other for like half an hour. I started to realize this during Sumeru's quests. There's so much fucking dialogue, it's insane. Like I remember starting a quest that I thought was short and then telling myself after this quest I'm gonna go to bed because it was like 2am and I'm really tired. Dude, I went to bed two hours later. Recently as well, Genshin's been doing this thing with quests where it makes you walk all over the map just to talk to the same person again for another 10 minutes. Like in one of the Sumeru story quests, I genuinely got pissed off when the game made me walk over here to talk to someone, and then made me walk over there to talk to the same person, and then told me to change the time to the next day, only to talk to the same person again, and then made me move somewhere else to talk to the same fucking person. It got so annoying, which made me realize it's just a thing that Genshin does to make it feel like you're doing something, when in reality, there's not much to do. Like the quests in Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma had way more interaction and, well, combat, which made me feel like I was actually doing something. 
I mean, someone in the comments is gonna be like, well, not everyone plays the game for the combat. To which I say, even if I didn't like the combat, I would rather be helping someone fight a boss rather than listen to the same person talk over and over and over again, only for it not to matter in the end. Now, I don't want to take away one of the big threes that Genshin has, which is the combat, the art, and the story. If you're going into this game, though, wanting a new story game to play, then I gotta say, it is a really good story. Just for me personally, and more recently, it hasn't been the most interesting. But let's talk about the combat. Now, it seems like Genshin's community is sort of split, not evenly, but there are definitely some players that don't really care for the combat and don't really like combat events, fighting bosses, etc. Now, I am biased because I do think that the combat is the best part about this game, but also very confusing to understand. If you want to take the time to learn it though and master it, then that's really cool. But if you want to just treat Genshin as a chill game to kill time, the combat might get annoying to some people. Also, for the people that haven't seen my last video or are going into Genshin at all, the developer said in a recent interview that they will not be adding any new endgame or permanent content. I mean, you don't even really have to play the game to know that that kind of sucks. Like I said earlier though, I am biased towards the combat aspect of the game, but man, is it a letdown just knowing there's not much else to do. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm a bit lost. I mean, I get on, claim my Welkin, spend like 10 minutes on domains, another 5 minute on daily commissions, and that's basically it. Granted, it really is my fault because I go through the game's content really quickly, but... <sighs> also, a good thing to note though, if you start playing Genshin and your friends find out, they'll say one of three things. One, you're a weeb. Two, you're cringe in some sort of way. And three, you're a pedo. And in the worst case scenario, they'll say all three. But I don't know. I mean, I'm excited for Sumer to come out. And more recently, the 3.2 livestream seemed to be pretty fun. And there's also been a lot of Genshin leaks lately, which I'm a bit too scared to talk about. But the future seems promising once again. But in the meantime, maybe I should start streaming some other game or something. Oh wait, I am streaming other games, so if you guys want to check me out when I'm live sometime, the link's going to be in the description. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch lately, but there's the occasional Genshin stream, so if you're interested, maybe say what's up in chat. It would be kind of pog. As always, thanks a ton for watching, and maybe sub to the channel. It might seem small, but it helps me out a lot and raises my ego, so I don't feel bad spending this much time on this godforsaken game. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, bye bye